this is really is a showdown of who's boss in the United States. Mm -hmm. And Donald Trump is saying, look, I'm the one in charge of national security. Don't get in my way. Good evening. We are three hours into President Donald Trump's revised travel ban on six Muslim majority countries. But the controversial new rules could also impact travelers from our country. Lawyers warn Canadians need to be diligent with, with which documents they use when crossing the border into the U.S. A ban like this really hurts the family structure, especially when the State Department or the government or the Trump administration is now trying to define exactly what a family is. And, um, you know, I, I don't really think that the government is really in a position or should be in a position to do so. Travelers from Iran, Syria, Libya, Sudan, Yemen and Somalia are banned from entering the United States sure. unless they have a bona fide connection to the U.S. that the Trump administration says includes school, business dealings or family. But limited to only parents, spouses, young or adult children, son or daughter-in-laws and siblings. The creation of the terminology of the bona fide relationship has really only spread more across the board to provide uncertainty for people who are the most vulnerable across the world. This immigration lawyer says while Canadian citizens and permanent residents should be able to cross the border, he is advising travelers to remain diligent about what documents they use when trying to enter the U.S. If you're carrying any one of those six passports, think, think about it very, very carefully. If you have a Canadian citizen and he has a Canadian passport and an Iranian passport, he better not travel on that Iranian passport because they're going to treat him as an Iranian and subject to the ban. Now, this revised ban has triggered widespread criticism of the Trump administration, many claiming it's discriminatory. Immigrant rights groups are warning all eyes are on how the U.S. handles the new rules. This is what democracy looks like. Right now, the world is watching us. The world is watching the United States of America. And what they are saying is we thought that that was the country for opportunity and justice for all. But it does not seem that way. Where are you coming from? Earlier this year, after the first travel ban was introduced, our Avery Haynes traveled to Plattsburgh, New York, one of the areas along the Canadian border that saw an increase of asylum seekers braving the cold and snow to cross over into Canada. With the new travel restrictions coming into effect, Mammon expects a number of refugees who are trying to cross from the U.S. will climb. As the summer uh, unfolds, we're already see seeing many people who have been living in the United States illegally for many years, you know, letting the kids finish the school year, packing them up and heading for the Canadian borders. And this current uh, visa um, travel ban does not apply to current visa holders, dual citizens, anyone granted asylum or refugees who've already gotten permission to enter the U.S. And earlier this evening, Hawaii's eternal, uh, attorney general filed a court uh, challenge against the new travel ban over what constitutes a uh, close family.